So for today, uh, we'll first touch base on uh, process management uh, topic, uh, and then uh, we will try to cover a couple of more things related to key figure fixing functionality and uh, change history uh, within key figures. Right? So we'll see how uh, that functionality is useful uh, from user's perspective and how we can utilize it. I think uh, there is a question coming from Palash on the uh, system access. So not sure if uh, Parminder has replied uh, to you guys with the options. Uh, maybe I'll request the admin to uh, let Parminder know that there are queries on the system access. So uh, let me share again. We'll go to the documentation first. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. So part of IBP 200 uh, PDF, right? You will also find a uh, documentation regarding the process management component of it, right? Majorly what I have seen, you can utilize this process management component for internal collaboration purpose also, right? Uh, where you can define a specific process uh, basic before going to the process you first define a process template right so you know you structureize your uh, uh, SNOP process within that process template you define your process steps and then you also define the individual task right so one example uh, we can take it uh, maybe after going through the documentation right so <clears throat> here if you see system is showing us a screenshot of one of the dashboard where within the dashboard yesterday we saw we can assign multiple analytics charts right similarly we can have a dedicated dashboard to review the progress or track the steps uh, progress right uh, how we can do that we will see it in the system right so here uh, you can see there are multiple steps and it's showing one of the step is let's say demand review right which is in progress now and there are subsequent steps part of our SNOP, right so you can also cover these individual steps uh, uh, as as part of your process modeling and try to assign individual tasks to your team members so that uh, they get notifications and also they once they update the task in uh, either in excel ui or in web ui uh, you as an administrator or owner will have complete visibility. Where are we stand? Where do we stand? Right from the progress perspective. So that's a beauty of using uh, IBP process management component uh, to have a single common view to understand where do we stand within the uh, current SNOP cycle. Uh, now. Uh, Recently, SAP has also come up with some additional enhancements to indicate whether the process step can be automatically started or automatically end, right? Based on specific conditions, right? So condition one can be a uh, statistical forecast, right? Uh, the step one can be statistical forecast. This step can uh, start on, let's say, work day one. Right. When this step should finish, the moment the application job for generate statistical forecast gets finished, automatically that condition will get met and it will indicate that the step for statistical forecasting is finished. Right. So accordingly, you can also uh, automatize uh, different steps within the processes. Right. I'm just trying to see if anything else can be elaborated more. And then it talks about a different process. Now we can simply go directly into the system and I'll walk you through how you can utilize that process management app. The first step for process management creation is to search on process. Okay, there is a manage process template Fury app. So again, you being an administrator, you will be 
able to create a template first. Okay. Now in this case, what you can say is you want to have a simple process, okay, uh, which talks about different steps within demand planning or demand review, right? So you want to create a separate uh, template for that and then assign different tasks within the demand review to your individual team members, right? So we can create one. This is just a name I'm providing. I can also as assign a owner to this process. I can also assign a time zone. For this example, I use the India time zone, which is UTC plus five, five plus 30 hours. Okay. This demand review can be also provided as a description. Do you want to also include this as a part of work days or any calendar days? That is up to us. So you can, based on the scenario, you can select the checkbox. And once you create a high level uh, naming for this process template, you can also mention which steps it would cover as an individual process, right? So you can add a steps here, right? So first step would be, maybe I would say, review master data, right? Because uh, whenever you start your demand review, first step probably what you do is make sure any new materials which are uh, introduced as part of your portfolio, you want to review those, whether those are create, correct, created correctly in IBP or not. So accordingly, you can also create a step for that. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. You can also assign a user group for it. You can also indicate a relative start date uh, since you're talking about a monthly cycle and a tentative duration for it, right? And then in, within the steps, you can also mention whether it's an automated step or it's a manual step, right? So I can keep it blank as of now because this is a manual step I would like to cover, right? And then in the task option, you can, I can also assign this task, right? So task here is again, probably review. Okay. Product, customer, customer. I, I have tried to detail out as possible. Okay. And then I can simply think. When you start picking up, I think in the background, somehow it has got created but it's not showing up uh, in the front end, right? So let me try to test Otherwise I'll have to go out completely and then come back again. Yeah, it's not allowing me. Let's go back and 
Spirit will protect. 